guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another part of my room. Exciting, right? I usually film right there in front of that vanity, but today I'm sitting on my bed and I'm sitting right in front of our bedroom window, which is humongous and it's overcast and cloudy outside. Actually, today is September 15th and Hurricane Florence is like right on top of Charlotte right now, so it is pouring rain. A lot of you guys have asked for updates as far as like how we're doing with the hurricane. Um, so this is the first big hurricane that Matt and I have lived through since we moved to Charlotte. We're good. We're fine. Yesterday it was just really, really, really windy and today it is pouring. It's been pouring all day and it's supposed to rain for the next like two or three days. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but we're doing fine. I'm like half expecting the power to just shut off at any minute. It hasn't shut off yet. We've been really lucky. We haven't lost water or power or really anything yet, but I'm half expecting it to shut off at like any moment. So this is actually perfect to use natural lighting. I do have my ring light, which here's what it looks like with the ring light. I did take my thumbnail photos with the ring light, but I don't know. We're going to try it without the ring light for now. We'll see how it goes. I do like the natural lighting. It just, it makes everything look really bright and white. Like my teeth look really white. My hair looks really blonde, which by the way, another thing, and then I'll hop into the hall. Um, I got my haircut, you guys. It is so short. <sighs> it actually happened a couple weeks ago, but I haven't filmed in like a month. Um, so yeah, my hair used to be down to my butt. I literally could tuck my hair into the band of my pants. That is how long it was, but it was, it was time. I haven't cut my hair this short since like fourth grade. Um, but it's so fun and so flirty and it's a little bit blonder. Um, but I kind of want it to be like a little bit shorter. It's at that like awkward length where it looks like I'm trying to grow it out, but really I just got it cut. You know what I mean? I kind of want it to be like, I don't know, a little bit shorter, but it's so cute. It's so much easier to maintain and I just, I am loving it. I feel like a, ah, like a brand new woman. <laughs> anyway, so I definitely wanted to be sure to share that with you guys. And these bracelets are like clink, clink, clink. So if you hear that, it's my bracelets. But anyways, let's hop into the Sephora haul. So I did want to share with you guys the products that I did end up picking up end up picking up, yep, that's how you say it, <laughs> during the uh, surprise Sephora sale. So it was like the VIB appreciation sale that Sephora had. And I did pick up mostly everything that I told you guys I was going to pick up and then a few extra things. Um, so I want to share that with you guys. And then I also have a couple of items that I didn't get at Sephora, but you can find them at Sephora that I wanted to share in this video just because it's not enough to make like another video about, you know what I mean? So, the first things I picked up at um, Ulta. So, Ulta has their 21 Days of Beauty going on right now, and they have such good deals, you guys. I've had to restrict myself a lot this year because this round, they have such good stuff. There's been a few times where I've, like, filled my cart, and I'm ready to hit that buy button, especially because I get free shipping. Um, they do, like, free shipping for Diamond members. I don't know. Whatever. It's dangerous, but I only made one order. Can you believe it? So, um, here it is. So there was one day where they offered the Benefit Hula. They had Hula Light and regular Hula. I bought the regular Hula. This is one of my favorite bronzers, you guys. I thought it had a smell. Maybe not. Um, I've actually gone through an entire one of these before, so I figured I would get a backup. It was 50% off, so heck yeah, why not, right? And then this was a new product that, new to me, that I've never tried before. It was also 50% off. It's the Kopari save face oil so it's basically just a facial oil but you could use it like in your hair um i don't know, you can use it anywhere it's just an oil so it says a face face moisturizing fast absorbing beauty oil jam-packed with antioxidants to restore restore youthful supple skin um the review said that it smells like cake it's in such a pretty bottle i don't know if you guys can tell but it's like a pinky like millennial pink um, let's see. Oh, dang. You know what? It smells like birthday cake flavored scented lip gloss, like Smackers birthday cake. It smells really good. So, I love Kopari products. I'm very excited to test this out. It feels like unbalanced though, like top heavy. See how it's like falling over? I don't know, whatever. Weird packaging design. So yeah, I also got, and I guess this you cannot get at Sephora, so I do apologize, but the Dose of Colors Messy Bun Lip Gloss. Um, the Dose of Colors Lip Glosses are 50% off 
the entire time for 21 Days of Beauty. So usually during 21 Days of Beauty, every day there's a steal of the day and you can only get it that day. But then they also have these things called Hot Buys where they're on sale the entire 21 days. And the Dosa Colors Lip Glosses are one of those Hot Buys. They're only $10. So I picked one up because Jam Beauty talked me into it. Um, I picked up Messy Bun. Ooh, that smells really good. That smells like vanilla also. I love vanilla. And this is such a beautiful color. Oh my God, speaking to me. So, um, so those are the things I got at Ulta. And then I also got a couple of things from Octoly that you could find at Sephora if you really wanted to. So the first thing, I have the box here, but I've been using, actually I've been using almost all of these products because the Sephora sale was like two or three weeks ago and I didn't want to wait to use the products and I just didn't have the time to film. I went out of town, I went to Hilton Head, whatever. Um, so long story short, I've been using a lot of these products and I pulled this out of the shower. This is the Lancome uh, Rose Sugar Scrub. This was gifted to me by Octoly and Lancome for review purposes, but this is one of their brand new products and you guys already know I love rose scented things. They have this and then they also have like a rose jelly mask that I kind of want to test out. <sighs> I don't know, maybe I'll pick it up during the next Sephora sale. Lancome is also available at Ulta too, so you know, whatever your preference is. But basically it's a sugar scrub and it's just like a really gentle exfoliator. It is a physical exfoliator as opposed to like an acid exfoliator. So things like the Drunk Elephant TLC are like an acid exfoliator where they still exfoliate your skin but they don't have a physical like granular thing to exfoliate your skin. This does have sugar particles in it so you know keep that in mind as far as what your preference is but it smells so good you guys. It smells like a fresh clean rose like definitely rose but like fresh and clean, oh my god. If I had a perfume or a deodorant or a lotion that smelled like this, oh my god, I would be all over it. So I've been using it a couple of times a week and I really do enjoy it. Um, I think it does exfoliate my skin well. I still use the Drunk Elephant nightly and I still use the Peter Thomas Roth Firm FX or the Saturday Skin Rub-A-Dub Peel, I think is what it's called, the gel peels. Uh, but this is, it's just good to kind of mix up the types of exfoliators that you use. So really, really loving this. And then I also got, this is so random, but like, you know, I'm going to talk about it. It's the Kevin Aquan Eyelash Curler. I have been in dire need of an eyelash curler. My eyelash curler that I was using before was like the Sephora brand, and I'm not picky about eyelash curlers. I mean, an eyelash curler is an eyelash curler, right? But my Sephora one... I had used it so much that the little pad inside of it was split down the middle. So anytime I used it, it would like pinch and squeeze and pull out my eyelashes. So I needed a new eyelash curler and Octoly, you know, this was available on Octoly for me to test out. So I figured, hey, why not? Kevin Aquan is a great brand. They're sold at Sephora. I've used a couple of the products before. And so far, so good. I mean, the cushion isn't very cushiony. It's more of like a firm cushion. Maybe that's how eyelashes are, or curlers are supposed to be. It's just been a really long time since I've used an eyelash curler. So, but so far, so good. It does come with an extra little pad that I can keep to kind of swap it out later on. But it makes my eyelashes curly, which is really super great. So, those are the only things that are not from Sephora. <sighs> Everything else is from Sephora. You guys ready for this? Let's do this. Okay, so a lot of these products I'm actually wearing today, so I'll kind of talk you through what I'm wearing and where I'm wearing it and all of that. The first thing, oh my god, I thought I almost wasn't going to get to get this because this time around the Sephora sale, they only let you do one online order. Like, what's the deal with that? Usually you can do as many online orders as you want. I don't know what the reasoning was for that, but whatever. So I placed my first online order like the first day of the sale. And this, which is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, wasn't in stock yet. It's been out of stock for months, and I kind of had just come to terms with the fact that I was never going to own it, and that's okay. Um, but then, like, a week into the sale, it restocked, and I was like, oh my god, you're kidding me, right? I already did my online order. So there's only, there's three Sephora's in Charlotte. One of them is inside of a JCPenney. Actually, the other one is inside of a JCPenney, too. So there's two JCPenney Sephoras, and then there's one inside South Park Mall that's like a freestanding Sephora. 
And so Natasha Denona is not available at the JCPenney Sephora's. I already know that. So I went to the South Park Mall one. They don't really have any Natasha Denona. They have a couple, like they have the highlighters and stuff. But they didn't have this palette, of course, right? So I walked up to the register and I was like, hey, is there any way that you guys can order something for me? And I will still get the 20% off, but because I've already used my online code once. And she was like, oh yeah, sure. So she placed the order for me, like, there. It was technically an online order, but because they did it in store, I got to use the 20% off code again. And she ordered this for me. That was a really long explanation. But yeah, the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I'm wearing it today. I spent a ton of time on my eye makeup today, you guys. But I am stinking loving it. I don't usually do such bold eyes like this, but I'm just loving the way it looks. Like it is so fall, it is so summer, it is definitely like a sunset eye look, and I just, I'm loving it. I kind of wish I would have packed on the center lid color a little bit more, but the shadows blended so beautifully. I've noticed that my eyelids are getting really kind of wrinkly and creasy lately and I don't know if it's like I'm just getting old or maybe I'm dehydrated, maybe it's the weather, I don't know. But some shadows that I use, like they kind of tug at my eyelids and they can't blend really well. Um, I didn't have that problem with these which is so awesome. So it's in this gold leather packaging, same packaging as like the Lila palette, the Star palette, um... I think that's it. The more recent palettes are in a plastic container. But yeah, it has a little divider thingy. And then here are the colors. So today I used this like middle orangey color all over my crease, kind of blended it up a little bit. Actually, backing up, I used this color right here, which is like the only beigey pink. It's called Bermuda all over my lid as a base. Then I use the orangey color, which is called Horizon, in the crease and kind of all over. Then I went in with a more precise blending brush and I used the color Pajian, this like maroony pink, like more precisely in the crease and then like on the outer corner. And then I went in with this shimmer right here called Bronzage, yeah, Bronzage. Packed it all over the lid, and then I went in with this color right here called uh, Abu Dhabi. I don't know, I can't, I can't pronounce these names. And put that in the center of the lid, and then I used the yellow color, Soul, on the inner corner of my eye. I didn't think I was going to like it, but holy moly, you guys, I'm in love with this eye look. I'm sad that it took me so long to do, because like I definitely can't do this like to work, you know? Because it took me like mm, probably 45 minutes to do it. But I don't know, if you guys want to see a tutorial let me know because I would love to film that for you. It's just such a good palette. I really, really like it. These colors are so on trend right now. And I'm sure I have most of these colors in other palettes, but the formula of Natasha Denona is so superior to any other brand, I think. Um, some Too Faced shadows are really good, but I don't know. So definitely excited that I got this, and it's still in stock too. Not on sale, but... Um, so yeah, there's that, and then I got a couple of other, I mean, I got a lot of other things. I'm trying to think of what order I want to talk to you guys about this stuff in. Let me talk about what I'm wearing on my face today. So I'm wearing the Lila, or the Sunset Palette. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I don't know if I like this yet. I've only used it twice. I will say it is the bougiest packaging I have ever, like, had any makeup product in. So it comes in this box. And then you pull it out, there's like a little ribbon, you pull it out, and then the primer was in this little bag. I took it out, obviously, because I've used it, but it was like in this sealed little metal package pouch, reminds me of like what coffee comes in. There's like an instruction booklet. It has this little like coin that you can use to scrape the primer out, and then here's what it looks like. It smells really good. It has like a citrusy spa clean scent to it, but... Yeah, I've been, it's really hard to see in this lighting, I've been like scooping it out and I don't know, it does make my face feel really, really soft. Um, I've used it with two different foundations and each time my skin looks great today, I think my skin looks great. So I don't know, so far so good, but it is really expensive. So I think it's a matter of is it worth the price or can I get the same effect using like the Tarte Poreless Primer or you know, the benefit, you know, something like that. So. I don't know, but it is supposed to make your skin silky, blurs your pores, primes your skin, protects the skin from pollution and makeup, it color corrects, and it's anti-aging. 
so I think it was like $56 it better sink and work well but you know I got the 20% off so using that and then I got another primer I guess I'm not gonna go in the right order um, I haven't used this yet it's actually more of a I thought it was a daytime serum but after research, I've kind of discovered that it's more of a primer. So I might return it. I don't know. But it's the Farsali Unicorn Essence. This was like a really hot thing on YouTube a little while ago. And I never quite hopped on the bandwagon. But I was looking for a daytime serum. And this looks like a serum. So I picked it up and bought it. Whatever. It's a small bottle. So maybe I'll just hang on to it. But yeah. So it's a dual purpose serum. Wait a minute. Is it a serum or is it a primer? I don't know. Beneficial skincare while prepping it and layering mo layer. Wait, prep preparing it for layering moisturizer or makeup application. It contains four superfruit extracts. I, I'm still confused. I don't know. Tell me if you guys know. Is this a primer or is it a serum? Because I don't know. Oh, there's a seal on it. Well, I'm not going to open it yet. Um, but it smells really good. I'm a small person if you can't tell. So, got that. And then, okay, back to what I'm wearing on my face. So I got two powders. And I wasn't going to get powders because if you guys have been watching my declutter series, I have a lot of loose powders that I'm currently trying to work through. But I really wanted these two powders. So the first one is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Um, I've used this probably four times since I bought it. I will say I don't like the packaging. I wish it had a net instead of what it has. So it has, oh, it's coming out because it's been bouncing around in this box. You won't really be able to tell, but the inside has like dots. So it'll just kind of shake out a little bit. Um, shaped like an H, like hourglass. Uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. I'm so sorry. But I wish it had a net because in order to get this out, you have to like, put your brush or your sponge on it, tip it upside down and kind of like shake it a little bit or like tap the sides a little bit to kind of get the powder to come out. And it's just a little bit messy and it's not very practical packaging. So I wish I had a net or whatever, but you know, me complaining. But other than that, I really like this powder, you guys. It's almost like a loose version of their pressed dim infusion, I think is what it's called. Um, which I super love. It gives like a little bit of a glow. So this is the setting powder that I'm wearing today. And aside from like the overcast skies making my skin look glowy, I think it's just a matter of a mixture of the primer, the silk primer, and this being my setting powder. It also works to set your under eyes. And it's just like, it's like a, a non cakey setting powder that gives like a really pretty subtle glow like natural skin like glow like it's not gonna leave your skin oily looking and like I have oily skin so I shy away from things that make your skin glowy but I like this if that makes sense so loving that the Huda Beauty powder the easy bake loose powder I used for the first time today it does have a really strong scent I've heard a lot of people say that in their reviews and I was like you guys are being dramatic no, it has a really strong, almost like old lady perfume scent to it. Like it's not a pleasant scent, but it is really, really nice. The box is really cool too. It kind of reminds me of the Hula bronzer, but like bigger, whatever. Um, so yeah, I got the color Cupcake. This does come in different colors. It's not a translucent powder. It's a colored powder, but you're supposed to use it to bake your face. So I used it to bake my under eyes and then I kind of carved out like my contour area with it, like my jawbone. Um, and then I also did, where else did I put it? Oh, on my chin, just to kind of make it less shiny. And it's so finely milled. It's such a nice powder, you guys. And I really do enjoy this packaging. So it has this little pressy thing on top, and then it has a net, which makes it easy because then you can push your sponge or your brush into the net and get, like, the perfect amount of product. So I do really, really like it. I don't bake on a daily basis. So I don't know how often I'll get to use this. It's not like an all-over setting powder. It's definitely a baking powder, but loving that. I feel like I'm talking a lot, so sorry about that. Um, other things I'm wearing today, um, this is actually the last thing that I am wearing today, is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in the color Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Is that the color? Um, my sister actually talked me into getting this. She owns this, and when she visited me last which was for my bachelorette party. Dang, that makes me sad. 
I miss my sister. But she had this and she was like, oh, you should try this out. And I just watched it and it's so beautiful. So I've been waiting a while to buy it because it is expensive. Fenty Beauty stuff is expensive. So I was waiting a while and I just decided to pick it up during the sale. So it's really hard to open, like really hard to open downside there. But here's what it looks like. I don't know. Gosh, I wish this lighting is really bad for swatches and stuff like that, but it's basically like an icy, beigey, you can kind of see what it looks like, um, kind of white gold color. But the good thing about these, or the cool thing about these, is it's a split pan, so I don't know how well you can tell, but there's a split down the middle, and it's actually two different highlighters in one. So one side is a very subtle highlighter, and the other side is like, pow! highlighter and I love the fact that you can get that two-in-one like you don't have to buy two products it's a two-in-one and th let's get real how quickly do we go through highlighters you know what I mean so lightning dust is the more subtle side I've been wearing this a lot like on a daily basis to work it's just a very subtle subtle highlight there isn't like flex yeah you can't see that at all um, I'm actually wearing it on like my high points of my cheeks today you can see that a lot better so it's just like a subtle highlight up here I dusted on the other one but if you look like right here you can see like it's just like a little bit of a glow you know what I mean it's so pretty it's so natural looking it is absolutely gorgeous and then the other side which is fire crystal it doesn't look like it's all that much in the pan but when you swatch it it almost has like a like a silvery white undertone to it and it is how you guys that is what I'm wearing at the high points of my cheeks like up here and then I also put it on the inner corner of my eye and last weekend I put it on my brow bone and somebody actually commented on it like wow your brow bone highlight is so pretty and I was like oh thank you like I wasn't expecting it no one's ever commented my brow bone highlight before you know what I mean so it's just so beautiful but it is very intense like I could probably pack it on a little bit more, but I only put it like right there and I put the other highlighter all over. Oh, I also did my Cupid's bow, which you can't really see. But anyways, it is a great highlighter, you guys. If you are fair skinned like me, you will love this. Now there's other color variations of this highlighter. Um, I'm guessing for the different skin tones and such that I haven't tried out yet, but this one, you can kind of see that. I mean, you can see the POW one. Love it. So. There is that. I still have more stuff. Okay, I did get another highlighter, kind of, sort of. So this is the Nat Natasha Denona Blush and Glow Trio. It's the little mini version. They have a big version of this, and then they also have the blushes individually and the highlighters individually. So this is like the miniature, it was $19. Um, of the duo. I wanted to get the miniature version because I want to test both of these products out before I go head first and purchase the big versions because they're very expensive just like the eyeshadows are. So the colors of this actually doesn't say the colors it just says blush and glow and I don't even know if this came in various colors like selections. I want to say the miniature version there's just the one. Um, packaging is super cute. So here's what it looks like. You can see there's a pan of blush and a pan of glow. This glow is definitely more of like a subtle kind of everyday, like it, it complements the subtle version of the Fenty one that I was just showing you, but it's really super soft. Like it feels like they're matte eyeshadows. It's just so creamy and like it just blends into your cheeks really, really pretty. I do love it, but it's definitely more of a subtle highlight, good for every day, good for the office, whatever, grocery store. The blush, I'm on the fence about, and I think it's because there's a gold sheer undertone to it, and oh, you can kind of see that. I'm so sorry about the lighting in this video, you guys. Um, but I'm not much of a golden blush fan. It reminds me a lot of NARS Orgasm, actually where it has like a peachy pink color and then like a golden shift to it. I'm not wearing it today because I just didn't think it would look good with the sunset eyes. Um, I'm wearing Max Warm Soul actually on my cheeks today if you are curious, but it's a pretty blush, but I'm not convinced that I love the color. The formula is nice though. It's like that same soft buttery, 
powder so picked that up I picked up a couple more things guys bear with me I'm almost done um the Fenty Beauty gloss balm something leaked all over and I don't know what it is or whatever um this I heard somebody on YouTube talking about I can't remember who was talking about it but they basically said the color is good for everybody and I've really, really been into glossy lips lately. Yeah, something leaked so much that it's like, the box is soggy. I don't know. Maybe it was this because I pulled it out of the shower. Anyways, so yeah, it's the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. And it's in the color Fenty Glow. There's only one color. And when I first looked at it, I was kind of like, oh, I don't think I'm going to like that color. Like, it's almost like a brownie orange terracotta color. But... When you swatch it, it is just so pretty. And it's not uber duper pigmented. It has almost like a, she like a sheerness to it. But I kind of like that because then you can layer it on top of lipstick. So you can layer it alone. It smells really good too. It has like a strawberry. This reminds me of Smackers Strawberry. Why am I thinking of Smackers stuff? Being nostalgic here. But it is super pretty. Um, I haven't worn it on my lips yet just because I've been wearing so many other things. And today I'm wearing Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which by the way, Charlotte Tilbury is now available at Sephora. I'm sorry to tell you that. <laughs> or maybe I'm not. Anyways, um, so yeah, I picked this up. Not cheap, just like all Fenty Beauty products are not cheap. But I got 20% off. Um, the last lip product I picked up is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is something I've been wanting for a really, really, really long time, but I just couldn't justify purchasing it because, like, do I need another lip balm product? Not really, but everyone talks about it, so I had to get on board with it. It comes with a little spatula. Interesting. It looks like a, one of those spongy eyeshadow applicators, but I'm guessing it's a spatula to put it on your lips. And... Mm, I haven't opened it yet. This is the first time. It smells like strawberry smackers lip balm. Why? It smells really good though. It almost smells like strawberry sugar scrub. It smells really good. I've heard such good things about this though. People wear it as a just regular balm during the day. It is technically a night sleeping mask, but I know people wear it all the time. So it just says, wake up to baby soft lips. This relaxing berry infused overnight mask is enriched with the berry mix complex vitamin C and it leaves your lips soft and smooth. They came out with a bunch of different scents of this too, but I still wanted to stick to the original. They have like an orange one and a yellow one and a blue one or something like that. So there's that. Three more things. So these are all things I kind of picked up. Well, this was this was a, a well thought out thing. It wasn't an impulse buy. It's the Kiehl's Powerful Wrinkle Reducing Eye Cream. So I ran out of my, what was I using before? Oh, the Drunk Elephant. I ran out of Drunk Elephant. Currently I'm using um, Lancome, something from Lancome. But Kiehl's is always an eye cream I find myself going back to. It's one of the best eye creams I've found. All of their eye creams are so good. It doesn't give me milia bumps and it just leaves my eyes really soft and hydrated. The wrinkle reducing one, I was actually um, watching one of my old videos. It was like Battle of the Eye Creams and I talked about this and I said how great it was. And since that video, I've only purchased the creamy avocado. So I was kind of like wanting to test myself. You know what I mean? Like, okay, Melissa from three years ago, I'm gonna test you. So. I bought it. Um, I was in need of an eye cream, so I am glad that I purchased this. I can actually take it out of the little bag. I don't know why they put it in a little bag. It's odd. Um, so there's that. And then this is not in the box because it's actually in my travel makeup bag, but the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I just needed a baby size of it. Um, I'm traveling a lot soon and in fact I brought it to Hilton Head with me then be my honeymoon and back to Arizona so I just I'm traveling a lot lately and I needed a travel sized version of that because I don't plan on checking a bag for most of my travel and carry-on size has to be less than 3.4 ounces I believe and this one is one ounce so and I can always just refill the bottle with my big one 
So I picked that up and then whew, the last thing is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This was kind of an impulse buy but I'm really glad I bought it. Like I've had this before and I love this product but it was one of those like it was at the counter and I was like mm, yep I'm gonna repurchase that. So it doesn't really smell like anything. This is a great makeup remover you guys. It's almost well it's very similar to the pharmacy green tea stuff that I talk about um, but it's like a glue stick texture but as soon as you get it in your hands and you rub it together it gets really really oily. So yeah, I purchased this. I probably won't use it for a while because I have other stuff I'm using right now, but I'm glad to have this and know that it's like on reserve, ready to be used. Oh my god, okay, one more thing. I almost forgot about this. A hair dryer! My hair dryer died on me, you guys. And when a hair dryer dies, it sucks so bad because like when you're in the middle of drying your hair and your hair dryer dies, it's like, what do you do with the rest of your wet hair? Like you have half dry hair, half wet hair. What do you do with it? And then not to mention hair dryers are just very, very expensive. So I waited for the sale to buy one and I had like a backup hair dryer I used in the meantime, but I don't love, you know what I mean? So this is the one I ended up going with. It's the T3 Sura, C-U-R-A hair dryer. Um, my curling wand is T3, so I trust the brand. I like the wand. So I figured I would test out their hair dryer. So far, so good. I actually have it right here. I've used it three times. Um... It does come with like a little thing, like a little head like the box has. See that little spout thingy? I tried it with that the first time I used it and I'm not in love with that. Um, I feel like it targets the hair, the airflow so much that it takes longer to dry your hair. So since then I've been using it without it and I feel like my hair dries faster. I feel like if you were styling with like a big roller brush or whatever you probably want to use that but I don't you know, whatever I don't use that anyways I do really like it it's interesting because the buttons are on the back instead of the front like most dryers I've never had a hair dryer like that before and so far so good it's smaller than I thought and louder than I expected whatever so yeah pick that up Okay guys, those are the products that I picked up during this last Sephora sale. Let me know if you want to see a dedicated video on any of these. I think I'm definitely going to do one with this because this is such a fun look. Like I can't stop looking in the viewfinder and I think it's perfect for like a fall look. So, but don't let me convince you. <laughs> let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.